Hey, what's going on, everybody? Movie Phantom here, and we're I'm joined by my lovely girlfriend, Maya. And uh, yes, Sunday Showdown. And I gotta say, I am very pleased with this week. Um, of course, we're doing the uh, Master of Horrors tournament, horror directors, and literally, we don't even have a, an entry in or an entry in uh, at all. Like we, because literally, eight spots to fill. And nine of them came in. I actually had to turn somebody away, which I'm Warren cocking. I am so sorry, my man. I really am. But this is the first time this has ever happened. But that is awesome, guys. Like, literally. So, uh, yes, thank you guys for, you know, this is definitely the, the biggest uh, turnout we've had. So, fucking awesome. All right, so here we go. Let's jump right in. I like this, too, because, like, now nobody on the couch has a uh, personal opinion one way or another. Like, we don't have a horse in the race. Now we're on the outside making, you know, unbiased decisions. I like it. So uh, here we go. Starting off in the uh, Master of Horse Tournament first round. Decided to go against the big board. Uh, just because, A, I'm always forgetting it at somebody else's house. Uh, or, you're not really looking at it anyways. You're listening to us regardless. Usually the board's too far away from the camera. So, decided to go ahead and just go straight to the clipboard. So, uh First match, for, really? Yeah, my clipboard. Yeah, uh, you don't have a clipboard. Uh, the first match, we got Charles Band, director, uh, most notably of the uh, Puppet Master series, creator of Full Moon uh, Productions, uh, going up against Terrence Fisher, who did a lot of the early Hammer movies, uh, Dracula, Prince of Darkness, shit like that. Uh, Sarah Pullen threw in uh, Charles Band, and The Omen threw in Terrence Fisher. For me personally, is and I'll say right now, I think I enjoy the Hammer movies more. But once again, guys, we're not doing, I should set this right off the bat, we're not doing who would win a fist fight. We're basing this strictly on directorial skills. Who's the better director? And I gotta say, I'm the whole Charles Band. I mean, movies may come off a little cheesy, yes, but dude had like no money. And he had puppets running around killing people. And it don't look that bad. Like, it looks like... I, I would much... I mean, you watch, like, those early Puppet Master movies with no CGI, and it looks great. Like, it looks really good. It's passable. Uh, and there's something to be said there, you know, with little money and the build of, you know, still produce that kind of, you know, quality stuff. So, I'm going Charles Band. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to get twisted. I do prefer the Hammer movies over the Puppet Master movies, but still yet, you know, got to go, go with uh, Charles Band. What about you, sweetie? Charles okay. Band versus uh, Terrence Fisher. Charles. You're going Charles Band too? Throw a reason out there? Because I don't really know the other one. Oh. Because Maya does not watch anything that's not Merc and ridiculous. But you vote with me, so I guess it's okay. <coughs> Damn it. All right. I pay attention to the director, so. Don't worry, we're breaking up after this, so that's okay. Uh, up next, we got. M. Night Shyamalan, which was uh, brought in by Kelly Bitten against Wes Craven, brought in by Ghostface Kid 101. Uh, of course, M. Night has you know, been known to direct like Sixth Sense, The Village, Unbreakable, Signs, stuff like that. Wes Craven, of course, we all know, did uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, Serpent and Rainbow, Hills Have Eyes, Last House on the Left, etc. etc. Uh, so we'll let you go first on this one. M. Night Shyamalan versus Wes Craven. Who do you want to win? Wes Craven. Going Wes Craven. Okay. Any reason behind that? Or? No. No? All right. Um, don't get me wrong. This is no disrespect to Wes Craven. Uh, love Wes Craven's work. Big fan. Uh, but I'm sorry. As far as directing goes, I got to go M. Night. And I know M. Night gets a lot of shit. In fact, I just went over all this because uh, The Visit just came out. And I did a whole video about The Visit. Um, but I, I think he's a great director. He is, and for the longest time, as as far as cinema goes, in general, not just horror, but cinema, I definitely went M Night. Like he was in my top three for the longest time, just because. I mean, I thought he was just a, he's just a hell of a director. Um, so yeah, I gotta go M Night. I just think uh, as far as directing goes, he's definitely top notch. Yes, he borrows from Hitchcock. Who doesn't? Uh, so there we go. All right, up next we got Dario Argento. Brought in by the 13th Wolfman against John Carpenter. Brought in by Simon Terrell. Uh, it's not a secret. I am just not a huge Argento fan. I'm sorry, I'm not. Uh, yeah, uh, I think of all the movies I've seen from him, I think I really only liked 
Mother of Tears. I feel like there may be another one. No, that was Mario Bava. No, yeah, that's it. Just Mother of Tears. It's not a big fan of, of uh, Argento's. Like, I get it. He films shit that doesn't what make sense, and he shines a bright red light or a bright blue light, calls it art, and then you guys eat it up. I get it. It's cool. I, it's fun. Not a big fan of myself. Just not my thing. I'm sorry. Um, but Carpenter. <clears throat> Come on. Fucking Halloween. The Thing. Big Triple Little China. They Live. Prince of Darkness. Vampires. My God. The list goes on and on. Escape from New York. Uh, boom. Uh, gotta go Carpenter. That's, that's me personally. What about you, sweetie? Dario Argento or John Carpenter? Carpenter. Going Carpenter. Any reason behind that? No. No? Nope. Alrighty. And finally, rounding up, first round will be George Romero, brought to us by Nico Boss Obos and Stephen King, Kedrick Levi. Now, don't get me wrong. As much as I love Stephen King, and I do, he's a great writer. He directed one movie, Maximum Overdrive, and I love Maximum Overdrive. Uh, it's not the best directed movie. It's not even the best movie, period. It's definitely cheesy fun uh, at best. Uh, of course, George Romero is the you know guy who brought us Not a Living Dead, uh, the entire Dead series, uh, and then you know he did Martin, The Crazies, and I know there's a few others in there that I just don't know because I'm a poser. So George Romero versus Stephen King, sweetie, who are you going for? Stephen King. Going Stephen King? <clears throat> uh, no, no reason, just Stephen King. Yeah. All right. Uh, Gaga George Romero. Uh, he has a very uh, deliberate taste with his movies. I love it, and the fact that he throws in those social commentary and all that stuff is great. And once again, if this was writing, then King would get it in a heartbeat. Wouldn't think twice. But the fact that King only really directed one movie. Uh, and no wrong, I do consider King a master of horror, but this is directing, and he is not going to make the cut in my book anyway. So, so I'm going George Romero over that. So, guys, boom, now the ball's in your guys' court. you got the matches. Who wins? You guys know how to do this at this point? You guys can drop that comment down below. Give me a video response. Uh, and then, of course, my peeps over on Facebook and Twitter, hit me up there. So, whatever you guys want to do it, however you want to do it. I want to thank everybody who uh, made this a record-breaking, I guess, like, nomination entry. Uh, boom, that was awesome. That was fucking awesome. And I thank every single one of you guys out there. I really do. So, all right, guys. You know what to do. We're out.